so here we go first track is gonna be Tysonberg SX you'll remember this one from season 6 I just came up with that hopefully that's correct season 6 um, yeah that's right and in our first heat we're going to have I don't know we're gonna have Slaunch I'm guessing that's real deal Roman uh, 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 Commando, Armada, and, uh, Detail, potentially, in our first seat here. I think it's gonna be four minutes long, so I'll try to keep track of that, plus a lap. Damn it, that was gonna time so well with the Halo music, and now it's conked. Here we go. First race of the elimination tourney pre-season 11. Ah, oh, I'm so sad about how that worked. Oh! Oh! Already some big cheese from Commando Pack. Taking out Slaunch there early in the race. That's tough. Now, a lot of, you know, you might watch that. And you're going to be like, wow, that's a super intentional wreck right there. You got to remember, uh, a thing with this elimination tourney, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning. Oh, that was bad. Uh, is that... We are doing uh, no practice laps, so we just get on the track, and if you've seen the track before, nice. If you haven't, that's unfortunate. Um, so, uh, you could still, like, go in machinima mode and take a look at it, but no practice lap, like, it's not going to help you that much. Um, so you're going to see probably a lot of crashes, especially in these early races that look like they're intentional, but honestly, it's not. It's just that a lot of these tracks the drivers may be unfamiliar with, there's a huge track pool, and... Not all of these tracks have been raced before, um, so we're probably going to see a lot of cheese like that. And at the end of the first lap here, oh, it looks like Detail taking the lead there from Real Deal. Detail and Real Deal first and second, Roman third, Slaunch fourth, and it looks like, and we're going to pay a lot of attention uh, to the back here, Armada in fifth, and Commando Pack in sixth. And we're going to pay a lot of attention to the back battle as well throughout this night, because honestly... Like, until you get to the last round, pretty much, the 1v1, um, it's pretty much all about the back battle. Like, the back battle is the important one uh, for a long time in this. So, I'm going to be paying a lot of attention to that. Oh my god, that was some major conkage there out of Slaunch. But as you can tell, it looks like the back battle, we'll keep our eyes on it, is already going to be between Commando and Armada. And it looks like Armada's got a bit of a gap there, but you never know. Um, and I think Armada has an advantage here because it's been a long time since he's raced in general. Um, but this does so happen to be a track that he has raced on before, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like 99% sure that Armada was at this race. So that kind of helps him out a bit. So, so far throughout this heat, well, that's pretty much the same as last lap. Uh, looks like we're going to have still detail first, real deal second. Uh, Roman third, and I may keep track of the results here just for funsies, so I can do some stuff like that at the end, but uh, we'll just keep track of it as we go. Get average finish, stuff like that for funsies, like the points, stuff like that. I mean, obviously we know who who should win the points, but, you know, it'll be fun to find out, and the average finish. Um, but it looks like Real Deal is taking the lead here from detail, and again, it gets, it gets kind of interesting. Um, because in a lot of scenarios, like, unless, you know, unless you're racing probably an oval or a supercross, or even to an extent an RX, there's a lot of GPs in the track pool, and it, in theory, the tourney should be mostly GPs, and obviously on GPs, you want starting positions, starting positions going to be very important on a lot of those, and if you win, it's going to be reverse order, so you're going to be starting in the back on a lot of those GPs, so it gets, it, it gets kind of these interesting scenarios where, you know, like if you start a race here in third or so, especially one of these early races, you're thinking, do I try to make gains here or do I just stay in third because I'm in a really, really good spot to have a decent starting spot um, for if it's a GP race or even like, uh, you know, early on if we get an RX, there could be double gate. In, in the RX as well and you know if we get an oval early on it could be a big pack so like ovals I would say would be the best to start in the back but again if you get a big pack on an oval it can be tough um so I don't know it, it gets it, it puts you in these interesting scenarios where it's like do I want to make gains or do I just want to run with the pack um that's just kind of the nature of this tourney probably getting close to the end here and if we get a little update on the Elim <laughs> that gap holy shit that gap has opened up quite a bit. That's Armada right there. That's Commando Pack right there. So I'm not going to pay any attention to that battle because it is over. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, you know, cheese anything too early, but 
It's over. Uh, but we do have a little interesting battle here between Roman and Detail, and potentially Slaunch coming into the battle as well. So a lot of positions up for grabs here, which will be interesting. Again, if the next race is a GP, oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, it will be interesting to see how these positions work out. Real Deal is still with the lead, and he doesn't care right now about that starting position. He just wants Dubskis. And the random, uh, another thing, I don't know if I mentioned that, but we're, like, there's no particular track order that we're doing the races in. Um, we're just randomizing it each race, uh, which is going to make things very interesting because you have, like, a pretty decent variety. Again, it's mostly GP, and then, like, second most Supercross, and then RX and Oval are pretty much even, I think. Um, but it, the random order makes things interesting because you could have a scenario, you know, it could be a very SX-oriented tournament. It could be a tournament where all of the Ovals are raced. It could be a tournament where all of the RXs are raced. It could be a tournament... Where none of the ovals or RXs are raced, I, I'd say due to odds, like, that's not going to happen with SX and GP, but, um, oh, man, that was a conkage right there. But the random order makes things kind of interesting because uh, you could have, like, different scenarios here play out on which tracks get picked and stuff like that. And, you know, I definitely think it also factors in with, with people's strong suits. Um, some people are probably going to want the ovals to come in early. Some people are going to want the RXs to come in early. Some people are going to want the SXs or the GPs to come in early. And then obviously vice versa. Some people are hoping that those tracks end up being raced towards the end because maybe they're, uh, that's their strong suit. So makes things interesting. I, I definitely do not have an issue with the random order though, especially for first turn here. I think that's fine. And you know, keeps things interesting, keeps everybody on their feet. And the nice thing too is that, like I said, there's a lot of tracks. One thing that I think we should do with the limb tourneys as well, by the way, um, I like that there's a lot of tracks in the track pool uh, that have not been raced before. I also like that there's a lot of tracks uh, that are new tracks that have not been raced before, so we can kind of preview them. You know, if people don't know what they feel with the new tracks, they can maybe get a lap in on them, get a couple laps in on them, get some battles, and see what they think about them. I really like that. Um, I also like that a lot of the returning tracks are tracks that have been raced quite a while ago. So even if there's a returning track, you know, it could have been like a year in the past, so even even if these drivers have a rough idea of it, it's still they're still gonna be rusty. It still keeps things on a relatively even playing field. So I really like how the how the track pool's laid out. Oh, oh, that's commando pack. I thought that was real deal choking. I'm like, what? That was commando pack. Never mind. And I think that was the last lap there. I think real deal right there is gonna take the dub. Slaunch comes back for second. Roman third. Detail fourth. I believe is that the lineup that is the lineup cool um and that is gonna put uh armada is going to finish fifth and commando is going to finish sixth as well damn they fell off holy crap um so that is going to right off the rip lose a life uh for commando and opix i don't know if you could do it but if there's any way you could do it where I could do it round by round with the dock, I know that's probably a little extensive, so you do, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. But if you do do that, that'd be pretty hot. <laughs> but I'm going to try to keep track of things as well. Let me, um, I'm just going to open up a notepad file or something. I don't feel like going into the docks. I'm going to try to keep track of the finishes here. Wait, did that open on my main screen? God damn it. Little intermission, uh, intermission here before the second heat. Hold up. Let me uh, just get this order. And have the frickin', I have the freaking font super large because of the memes that I was doing on the last stream. So let me fix that real quick. There we go. Put it like that. That looks good. 20 looks good. Uh, I'm just going to do results. I'm not going to do order for start or anything like that. Just going to do results, plain results. We'll see how that goes. Um, real deal. So the order for that one was real deal, Slaunch, Roman, oop, Roman, Detail, Armada, Commando. Cool. Then we go to Heat 2. All right. Thinking about doing that? Okay, cool. Um, so here we're lining up for Heat 2. I'll skip ahead for a little bit so you can get right into it. All right. So lining up for Heat number 2 here, again, uh, Recap off that first heat. Unfortunately, Commando is going to be the first driver with a lost life of the tournament. RIP. Not out of it yet, though. <laughs> that, that's the thing I like about the two lives. You can't just get cheesed right off the rip. That'd be unfortunate with previous Alim tourneys. Although, a one life only Alim tourney, I'm game for that um, <laughs> at some point. Uh, so we got Opix here. Vulcan, Ump, uh, Luke, and Hunter. Who is that? 
Oh, that's Roman? Is that? No, Roman was in the last one. Oh, that's Phil. Why does Phil look... His armor is completely cocked. All right. So let's get into the second heat here. Same amount of time. Let's see how this one goes. And remember, the objective for these drivers, especially in these early races, is not to win. It is to not finish last. That is absolutely the objective. So going into the start, let's see if it's as cheesy as the last one. Definitely cleaner through the sand section, I would say. But this part is not going to go well. I can guarantee that. Oh, Phil. Just an unfortunate crash right there. Like, went really hard and did not work out. Getting super loose in the whoops. Conky in the jumps, too. It's definitely going to take drivers a little bit to warm up to this track. Oh, that's a fat rip rejoin in the back. Oh, Phil is having a tough time as well. So off to the early lead is going to be Vulcan and Opix. Ump in third. Fourth is Phil. Fifth, Hunter. And sixth, Luke here. And we'll see if any of these positions change before they hit the finish line. Looks like Hunter's already going to work his way by Phil. Ump going hard on the inside for Opix, but that's actually going to end up screwing him over. So Hunter takes Phil at the end there, and Phil's crashing out. Sand section pretty close for this top three. Trying to keep the camera at a good angle here for the start of this race so you can watch everything going on on track. Uh, for as long as there's a battle. I don't know if there's going to be... Obviously all these races aren't going to have an Alim battle in the back every time, but I'm, I'm sure especially the later ones will. Vulcan's going to go back to... In a battle with second there with Ump. And as we can see, oh, Ump with a little cheeser there. As we can see in the back, it looks like Luke's going to get by Phil. And this is going to put Phil in jeopardy because that was kind of his one hope. Probably not the hope you want, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, but that was probably his one hope there. Now he's got to try to catch up to Hunter. He, he kind of went for it there and just failed. This is probably going to be a tough race one for Phil. Because Hunter's already really far ahead, and it is not looking good for him. It's going to have to be a crazy comeback if he doesn't want to start off the tournament with a lost life. It's going to be Opix here in first. Vulcan and Ump still going at it. Oh, an interesting crash there for Ump. That was kind of weird. And then he's going to have a terrible recovery. Going to slow up Hunter pretty hard there. Slow up Luke a little bit. And now they're all going to battle. This kind of... Whoa! Really conky there in the sand. Takes out Hunter. Oh, the way that battle worked out, the way those lines worked out, that was really close. So side by side here for Luke and Ump for third place position. And remember, Hunter's still right behind there, so we'll have to see if he inches back into this battle. Ump with the case right there, so it looks like Hunter is going to get back into it. And with that, Luke's going to stretch a gap for third. If we go back to the lead, we still have Opix now working a gap on Vulcan first and second. Which is probably not what most people expected in Opix Vulcan 1-2. But that, they gotta love it. Because I'm sure this is a, well, Vulcan's pretty decent in SX. But I'm sure this is a track that Opix was not looking forward to having an SX right off the bat. And being in the lead here is probably unexpected, but very, uh, very good for him. Because that's just not, <laughs> he did not want to be in a position where he was like in fifth place battling for the back. Um, I think he had a rough race on this one in the season six race. So that definitely is going to be positive for him to be this far out front, this far into the race. Cause I mean, Oh, the conkage there for Luke at third, that was a tough hit for the pole, but got himself such a gap on the last lap. It doesn't really matter too much. Still a pretty big gap between him and Hunter who has gotten by ump now at this point <laughs> before choke. But yeah, this battle for the lead is not yet over. It's a pretty good gap for Opix in first, but Vulcan is still close enough to where one conkening could make things interesting. Was that a goose explosion? <laughs> I'm glad. I hope you guys liked the pole hit. I did that for the fans. <laughs> Someone had to do it. I had some really dumb crashes during the whole tournament, not gonna lie. For how. I'm really surprised it did. Oh, I'm not gonna say spoilers. Alright. Getting closer to the end here. Opix still holding on to the lead. As you can see in the back there, Hunter and Ump now getting pretty close for that fourth place position. Just bragging rights there pretty much. They don't really have to worry about Phil at this point. 
Hunter's still holding on. Oh, that was a crazy run for him and Ump. They both conked it quite a bit. Opix and Vulcan, though. Still a workable gap. We'll have to see how is Opix running this rhythm. I'm curious. Looks like Opix and Vulcan both running it the same way. Personally, just my own preference. I don't like... That is exactly why I do. I was just going to say I don't like that line because it it's so tough. Like, if you screw it up, it's fast if you hit it. But if you screw it up and it's very easy to screw up, it can really conk you. And that is unfortunate for Opix there as he does get conked and loses the lead. <laughs> um, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, like, he's probably pissed because this is a, a win opportunity. But at the same time... I'm sure he wants to just stay in it, and I'm sure he's not too mad at a second place here on an SX opening track. All about, one thing we gotta remember with this tourney, the one position you need to finish in is the position right before last. Like, that's the only position that matters. <laughs> and it looks like, potentially closing out the race there, I think that might have been the last lap. Oh, that was the last lap. That is a fat rip there for Opix. And things could have got interesting there for the top three as well if there was like a couple more laps left. Um, it could have been a three-way battle. But Vulcan's going to take it. Vulcan taking a win here in the Alim tourney. Going to be him, Opix, Luke. Let me get these results. Hunter, Ump, and the life lost is going to be for Phil. All right. And we're going to end this film here. So solid start to the night. Pretty cheesy hit. Uh, heats starting off with. First heat, we're going to have Commando Phil. Oh, boy. Wait, that's not Phil, is it? Is that Phil? I thought Phil was... Oh, yeah, it is. All right, Commando Phil, Slaunch, Luke, and Opix. This is going to be an interesting one because we have... Wow, I just realized that. We have both of the drivers. Both of the drivers on the brink of elimination in this heat. And that was an unfortunate start right there. Slaunch not ready. Uh, this track does not have lights yet, so we did not do a uh, grenade. We just decided to go with the shot of the gun. As we go down... Oh! Opix already with some contact there on the inside wall. So him and Slaunch off to a slow start, but again... They don't have too much to worry about. They got a lot of time here. They're not the ones on the brink of elimination. The drivers are going to want to watch here are going to be Phil and Commando. Phil's already in the lead, so that's what you love to see if you're a big Phil guy in the chat. <laughs> um, Commando in third, not what you love to see if you're a Commando fan. Because right now, there he is now in fourth. Right now, Commando is definitely on the brink of elimination here. This is tough. In the second race, we may already see an elimination. I kind of want to make a track in the shape of it. Aw. <laughs> God dang it. I actually, I've low-key wanted to do that for a while, and I just didn't do it. Uh, maybe I'll do a GK like that. Um, want to do a track in the shape of Leah Gotti. Yo! That's an idea. Uh, all right, back to the race here. and it, Oh, my God! Who just, let's get a replay on that. That is what you love to see. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Not as many deaths on that corner as I wanted, but Commando... Commando is the GOAT. That is what I wanted to see here. Remember, these drivers have not seen it. Look at Commando. He's like, oh, that's a nice little corner here. Nice little downhill. Just comes in hot. Oh! <laughs> right in the rocks. And that is probably going to be it for Commando, but we'll still watch this race. Oh! Contact with the two-wheel with Luch. Uh, Phil had to recover there. So tough run for him, and it's going to be a battle between Slaunch and Opix. And honestly, I don't think any of them, or either of them, I should say, really care at this point. Like, they're safe. Commando's way back. Slaunch and Opix probably just want to run their race out here. Uh, they're also in a pretty good spot for starting spot, too. But we'll see. Maybe they'll try to work it hard and, and try to get back up into uh, that lead and try to make something happen here at Goaty. And the crazy thing with this track, similar to Sherman, this track is huge. Um... So you're going to see, like, this is just halfway, a little over halfway through the first lap. We already have some pretty massive gaps opening on the track, going into another cave there. This freaking layout, man. I wish Forge didn't. I wish Forge had, like, a 150% physics limit and, like, 2,000 objects, and I could make this track look so good, but unfortunately not that much to work with. But off to a decent start. Uh, with how conky some of the sections are on this track, I actually expected there to be a lot more conking on the first lap, and the Heat 2 drivers... I'm curious to see what they do because there is, at the beginning of the tournament here, kind of like a, a slight advantage of being in the second heat because if you're in the second heat, you can go in machinima mode. You can watch the first heat, see what to avoid, see what to go for, and kind of uh, figure out uh, what to do there. And as you can see, still like a little pack of two with Luke and Phil, a little pack of two with Slaunch and Opix. Commando is way in the back there, so that's unfortunate. I, I hate to say it, but he probably will be eliminated here at the end of this race. A little conkiness on the rumbles there for Phil. 
Trying to get any little bit of time that he can to catch back up to Luke. At the same time, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Like, Phil is just trying to stay in the tournament here. And he knows Commando is way behind him. So he's just probably trying to run his race at this point. I think he's content with second. Um, but you know Phil's still going to be going hard. Because he doesn't... I mean, I think he knows Commando is really far back. But I don't know if he does. So maybe he's worried about that. Here we go. Love this corner. Just asking for cockiness. Well, that was a great run, Phil. <laughs> he didn't even cut the track, really. Like, he almost cut the track, and then he just kind of went slow because he knew he conked it. Oh, and a wreck for Luke in the rock section. And that was a tough crash. That's going to allow Phil to get into the lead. The conkening. You see Opix also going down. That section is going to collect a lot of people for sure. But Phil, again, this whole sector of the track is very tough. Phil makes a mistake right after it and loses the lead back to Luke again. It's a side-by-side -side battle still being pretty close for the lead. But in the end of it, it looks like Luke is going to get the advantage, the slight advantage there. So still keep the lead over Phil. And that third place spot looks like Slaunch is looking pretty good for third. Opix with that crash in the rock section is going to be a little bit behind now. But again, still way ahead of Commando, so <laughs> I'm sure he's not too worried about that. Phil showing some tires. Maybe trying to make it work. I'm surprised that Phil's being this aggressive for the lead because that's probably his one chance at losing this race, like... Is just going for the lead and making a dumb move. Um, but he's still trying, I guess. Still trying to make something happen. <laughs> we should have done a pit joker during the GP races. That would have been dumb. Idea for a future limb tourney. <laughs> Final lap here. Through the first corner, Phil had a pretty good run on entry. Luke had a pretty good run on exit. And it honestly kind of evened out. But we'll see if Phil can make anything happen here on the final lap. Yeah, the backwards supercross modifier would basically just be an enduro cross at that point. Dude, Justin actually would say it if he... Good thing Laras isn't in my party because even though Justin's in a different state right now, he would probably somehow find a way to just join in on the commentary like a big old cuck. All right, here we go. This is the hardest part of the track. Let's see how it goes. If Phil's going to make something happen, it's going to be here. Ran that first part kind of risky. Didn't lose as much time as I expected. Let's see how it goes through the rock. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Going to lose a little bit of time there. <laughs> Even Slaunch made contact with the rock. Let's see if Opix does as well. He made contact as well. Yeah, that part is tough. And it looks like time will be lost there the most difficult part of the track there for Phil, and that's probably going to end his chances. The rest of the track isn't too bad. So that's probably going to end his chances of going for the lead, but if you're Phil, you're feeling ecstatic right now. You live to see another day, which who knows? Maybe he didn't expect here. Maybe he was worried about, you know, potential double a limb here with Commando. But he ends up having a really solid race and is most likely going to finish in second here at Goaty. Which is a work in progress name, by the way, but it's kind of funny, so <laughs> we're sticking with it for now. This final corner, which will be a lot different when we get the rumble there. A lot of momentum going into that. And going across the line, it is going to be Luke taking his first win here of the Elim Tourney. Phil, going to take second, his first podium. Going to be Slaunch third. Look at the gaps, too. That's crazy for a three-lap race. Opix fourth. And eventually Commando. I don't even know. Does he even finish? Oh, detail no. And Commando, with the run of shame to the finish line, will he even cross it? This is going to be it for him. All right, just come on, dude. Just come on. If you're going to rage quit, rage quit. All right, cool. Commando's not going to cross the line. You hate to see it. And that is going to be it there for Commando. The first. Where's that survivor? Hold on. We could do something fun here. Let me see if this exists. I've never looked this up before in my life. It doesn't. Damn it. Every the tribe has spoken in Survivor? Oh my. Alright, let's see if I can just use one of them. The tribe has spoken. I could use a different one for each one. All right, here we go. Commando, pour one out for you, bud. But unfortunately, after that unfortunate heat race, both a limb drivers in the same one, 
that is going to be it for Commando. The tribe has spoken. And we're not going to have any tribes spoken for the next one. Uh, because the next one has no people on the brink of elimination. But that doesn't ruin everything. That still keeps things interesting. Let me get those results. I don't want to forget. But that still keeps things interesting because we do not have a driver on the brink of elimination here, but we are going to see a driver now be on the brink of elimination after this heat race. And in this heat race, we are going to have Ump, Hunter, Detail, uh, Vulcan, Roman, and Real Deal. Let's see how it goes. And with this track, I don't know if any of these drivers, maybe Opix is the only one that's even seen this track. So that's what makes this track interesting. Again, another potential track for next season, but... Um, I think that might be true. I don't know. Maybe real deal. I might have went on it with real deal at one point. Maybe details seen it. I don't know. Not exactly sure here, but just to keep things interesting. I love the tracks that haven't been raised before. Those are my favorite in the tourney. You've seen it as well. Yeah, that makes sense because the forge stash. That makes sense. So, I'd still say like what? Probably over half the lobby, roughly half the lobby. We're off to the green here. Has not seen this track yet. Really weird start. But again, seeing the track and racing, it's a whole different thing. This is a stacked heat, too, by the way. Oh, contact in the first corner. That is rough for Hunter. Going to lose that good starting position that he had. Going to be an early battle for the lead with uh, whoops, Ump and Detail. Real Deal already in third. Hunter and Vulcan. Look like they're going to be the ones battling in the back. Detail and Real Deal going hard up here in the front. Nice little three-way pack with Ump trying to hold on. Still holding on to it. Roman's going to be in fourth. Vulcan on the brink of losing a life here. Oh, Ump probably just lost. Oh, another Conkage. Ump joined the club with Commando there. Of conking off the track that poorly. Oh, and that's going to conk real deal as well. At, yeah. Yeah. You can tell Ump did not pay attention during the first heat race. <laughs> did not did not utilize the second heat advantage. All right, Raman. Damn, this is going to be a long stream. This is probably going to be it. I'm probably not going to play anything after this. I love this, though. This is awesome, though. Don't it? Not even mad. It's going to be a good time. Not even done with the first lap here. Detail is the one off to the early lead. With Roman in second. Ump and Real Deal. Oh, Real Deal getting conked by Ump again. Oh, this is putting Real Deal close to the back with Vulcan. Real Deal's probably not having any of this. I bet he's going to have some rough passes here in the upcoming lap. Oh, the exploding goose. You love to hear that. Trademark. And leading the first lap is going to be Detail. Looking strong here at the start of Goaty. Roman looking like he's in a safe position as well. Probably just wants to, similar to Phil last race, probably just wants to hold on to that. Ump with another mistake. And that is putting him in jeopardy. All these mistakes are starting to add up. I'm surprised that he's not in last. But he is second to last. And Vulcan is right on his tail. Not too far behind. Definitely way closer than the last place battle that we saw last race. Hunter's probably breathing a sigh of relief right now. He looked like he could have been in a rough spot, but now he's looking pretty decent. Although, Ump is getting side by side with him. And Real Deal loves that he got by them right there. Because now he's going to start to make some gains. <laughs> the way Vulcan ran that corner... I think that was fine. It was just kind of cheesy. And there it is. Vulcan is going to take that position. They both hit the rock. Ump definitely has the worst crash of the two drivers. And that is tough. Ump potentially going to lose a life here already. We'll see how it plays out. Oh, that's tough. He's screwing up more. Vulcan may have gotten his lucky break there. 
Ump potentially going to be the third driver to be with one life remaining. Again, though, a long tourney. A long tourney ahead. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point there's an Alim tourney where, like, somebody loses a life right off the rip and then just wins the whole thing. Like, all you need to do is catch fire, not finish last. Like, it, it's definitely possible with the two-life format. And going to be coming to the white flag here. Detail is looking strong. Coming to the white flag there. Remember, it's Roman and Real Deal there. Duking it out for second. Hunter looking safe. Vulcan looking safe. Ump way back now. Way back. This is probably not good for Ump. And, ooh, Roman and Real Deal getting into it right there. But yeah, this is probably not good for Ump at this point. Um, yeah, it's looking slow. It's definitely looking slow. Dill. Running it close with Roman. It's looking like Real Dill wants this second place position. How is Hunter caught up here? He is even starting to play a role in this. Detail. He's got a solid lead, just trying to hold on to it. Just needs to run a consistent lap here. A safe lap. Doesn't need to take any risks. Makes a little contact with the rock, but it wasn't too bad. Roman little contact. Real Dill little contact. So many drivers making contact with the rock. Come on up. Hit it as well. All right. <laughs> Not the easiest corner. I I would love a counter for this for both heats and see like all the uh, all the drivers tallied up like how many times was the rock hit versus when it wasn't hit. I know it's definitely in favor of being hit, but I'm just curious what the percentage is. I'm sure if we actually did a race in this track, people practiced up, it would be different. But even then, I bet there would be a lot of rock, uh, a rock action. That is a tough part of the track. Easy part to make a mistake, for sure. Kind of, in a way, reminds me of the end section of Frommel a little bit. Not the same, but reminiscent, I think. And going to be getting his first win of the tourney. Going to be four different winners. To start off with, Detail taking it at Goaty. Going to be Roman in second. Real Deal in third. Hunter fourth. Vulcan fifth. And Ump losing a life here in sixth. Let me get those results and we'll get on to the next race.